Welcome, everyone. It is Sunday, March 10th, 2024. Daylight saving time is in effect, and this is the Morgellons Call of the Week. So, yes, Ted. I hope you guys remembered to set your clocks. Uh, what is it? Spring ahead. Uh-huh. Spring ahead, fall back. Okay. And um, if not, okay. guess what? We're an hour late. <laughs> So anyway, more gallons. More gallons is a horrible disease on so many uh, levels, yeah, especially since ninety yeah, percent of the world doesn't believe you, um, and they don't understand. They don't get it, and uh-huh. and it's hard to find solutions, help, medical care because okay. there are very few doctors or anyone who knows how to mm-hmm. deal with this. But on this Morgellons call, we have totally lucked out okay. because we have Richard okay. Kuhns, author of How to Get Your Life Back from Morgellons, Lyme, and Other Skin Parasites, 13th edition, which okay. is crazy. But Richard is never never stops learning, never stops researching. Okay. He is a fountain, a wealth of knowledge and solutions. I consider Richard's books like uh, en- like an encyclopedia. It's an encyclopedia of how to get your life back. And it, each chapter deals with a different section, um, including the diet, which, which is just, the diet is like a miracle. And getting it to work is not always easy, um, never easy for me, but but if you work it, it works. And that's what this call is going to be about today, the diet, making it work. And, you know, we're so lucky to have Richard on the call with us. He cares. He's here every week. He answers questions. He tries to answer emails. <laughs> it, you know, it, it, think about all the people in the world with Morgellons. If every one of them sent Richard like five emails, that's a lot of emails. So, you know, he tries he tries really hard, but he's here every week, every week, and he cares. He cares deeply about all of us, and we are a community. We give strength and support and hope and wisdom and knowledge to one another. So I'm so grateful to be part of this community, so grateful to be here as the co-host of this program. I'm grateful for each of you. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Richard Kuhns, author of How to Get Your Life Back from Morgellons and Other Skin Parasites. Thank you, Robin. Thank you for that warm introduction. Uh, you had mentioned in the before the recorded portion of the program about getting locked up. And I guess many of us kind of smiled about that, but... That's, that happens to be a reality for some people, that uh, the disease has progressed to the point where they were actually challenged by the medical field, by the ER, or by their doctors, or plotted against kind of by their spouse and the doctor, the attending physician. and institutionalized because they had things on their skin that doctors didn't understand. They had lesions on their skin that doctors couldn't explain. It has come, it has come to that for many people in this country. Institutionalized against their will because the attending physician or the loving spouse didn't understand and thought they were crazy. Serious disease. Some people have taken the, well, the extreme way out and ended their lives because of the inability to get treatment or make any progress against the disease in all the things that they're doing. And then along comes this diet. How many different kinds of diets do you know 
Oh, by the way, before I, I do go on, I, I, I got an email from uh, Tony. Tony had been a uh, guest on our program some time ago. And uh, he, he writes in, because Amazon has just come up with the ability for us to convert our books into audio books, which is incredible. People have asked me for audio books for years. And there was an app that you could download to, to convert it into an audio book, but every time you went to play it, it started back at the beginning of the book. So you'd have to listen to four chapters in order to find, you know, get what's in the fifth chapter. Uh, so that was my understanding of how it worked. But uh, Tony Reich, thank you so much for making the audio book available. I have found it hard to find time to actually sit and read. This is true for many of us. The audiobook version allows me to listen while I clean, while I vacuum, cook, and bathe. It's a real time saver. It was real easy to add my Amazon audiobook library, to add to my audiobook library. The narration is extremely good. It's not my voice, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is much better <laughs> than apps I've tried and Apple's iPhone built-in reader. So there you go. The audiobook is available. It, uh, I know many people suffer from brain fog, and I know what that's like. You can read a paragraph, and what the hell did I just read? I'd have to go back and read it again, and then by, it takes sometimes three times to read a page to grasp what it says. So the audiobook, uh, my feeling is the more senses you involve, the better. So... Uh, having the audio, the the uh, book to read, the, the hard copy, uh, you know, the visual sense, the audio sense, as many senses as you can to get the information is important. But I'm here. Robin is here. Sharon is here. Sherry is here. All of our great coaches, Nick is here. Uh, Diane is here. These are just some of the names of our coaches because of this diet, and because they had suffered immensely from Morgellons and other skin parasites. And each of them have their own stories, like my story in Chapter 1. Uh, and most people, when they read Chapter 1, relate with that story, and that's why they read the second chapter. Diet. Who would have thought? Who would have ever, ever thought diet would make a significant difference. How many different diets do you know of, Robin? Oh, uh... Paleo? Innumerable diet. I mean... Atkinson's diet? Great caveman diet? All of them. Very healthy. Hypoglycemia diet? Uh, something oh. 30 diet. Uh, yeah, gluten-free diet. Uh, oh, the Whole Foods 30 diet. That was the one that I, yeah. That I mean, there's so many diets. Yeah. Mediterranean diet. Right. right? <laughs> probably, probably there's an Alaskan diet too. <laughs> halibut. <laughs> the halibut diet. But <laughs> well, any of them work with Magellan's. Right. They, they really? No. Will, will, will it, what is your resounding answer? They, they have food that will actually, uh, that Mark Ellens loves. Yeah. So the answer is resounding, hell no. None of them will work with Mark Ellens. Don't even think they will try if they will work with Mark Ellens. Every diet that is healthy allows a good quality olive oil. I can't think of one that doesn't. <laughs> and bugs, in, you know, our parasites love olive oil. That's just for starters. I can't think of a diet out there that doesn't allow fruit, good fruit, some in moderation. But <laughs> Morgellons love fruit. So don't even try to tell me you're on a diet. And then tell me, yeah, I'm on the paleo diet. Right. You're not even close. 
You're not even close. You've missed the whole concept, the whole entire concept. This is not an easy diet. I've never said it is. Never will say it is. But for many, it is. <laughs> now, what did I do? I just because they're already eating relatively healthy, and it's a minor shift. But if you're a junk food addict, addicted to Coca-Cola and uh, stuff like that, well, it could be a challenge. First of all, you'll probably go through some withdrawal symptoms once you cut to get off of all that sugar and uh, the garbage that you're on. You'll go through some nervousness and anxiety as a typical response. But you need to plow through it. It's you know, it's the same as uh, drug addicts coming off of drugs. They go through the DTs for a little bit. So you may have to go through some of that if you've been a junk food addict. But what is it? Your life or you want the junk food and the itchies and the biteies and the uh, driving crazy 24-7? We've had some people on. Uh, in fact, just a couple of weeks ago, we had, I forget the, the gal's name, and she was really working on making the diet work. But it wasn't, she did, it didn't kick in. It didn't kick in. So I welcome everybody to go back and listen to that for the details because we went through everything. And eventually we found what it was that kept the diet from kicking in. As I recall, it was some supplement that she was taking and it had some ingredient in it. And she thought, well, I've been taking this for the last 30 years, and it does me good, and I need it, and whatever, and never even thought to question that supplement and the ingredient in it, which could be as simple as glycerin or something like that. Uh, that is okay for everybody else, but not for us if we're dealing with these organisms. So to start the diet, it is definitely recommended to plan a little bit. Uh, you, a frame of mind, and I'm hoping what I'm sharing with you today kind of puts you in a frame of mind that you can conquer this disease. You can rise above it. You can do more for yourself than any physician in the whole entire world can possibly do for you. Now, I've got to say, I am not a doctor. And the FDA requires me to tell you that before you start this incredible diet or accept any of my recommendations, you are to thoroughly discuss them with your medical doctor to make sure they do not interfere with any health problems you may be presently experiencing. The AMA also requires me to tell you that I am not a doctor. Robert's not a doctor. Sherry's not a doctor. Uh, Ethel's not a doctor. Nick is not a doctor. Sherry, none of us are physicians. So we do not diagnose, we do not treat, cure, mitigate, or prevent any disease. We educate you. We educate you how to use this incredible diet, how to clean your skin, how to clean your environment, and how to build health on immune functioning using, utilizing our targeted supplements. So, like I said, this is not a haphazard diet. Like a doctor says, well, just go home and eat healthy. You know, just eat good for, you know, eat, stay away from junk food, stay away from sugar. It, no, it's a lot more than that. It's a very specific, and it's very important to study it and be very familiar with it. And it is very detailed. That is the difference between this diet and any other diet in the entire world. It is so detailed. Now, look at it as you move from one state you move from Utah to New Jersey or whatever, and you want to be able to drive your vehicle in the new state. Well, your license isn't automatically transferred. You've got to study for it. It's like you're 16 again, and you've got to study the book, the rule book, on how to drive in this new state and what the laws are, how many feet you need to behind the school bus, and when you come to a four-way stop sign, who goes first, and all those kind of things. Well, that's what you need to do with this diet. I'm not kidding you. You need to study it. You need to know it inside and out. Don't think you're just going to generally haphazard jump and go down to the grocery store and pick out a bunch of stuff and think you, you made it, you're making the diet work. You need to study it. 
Soy is not on this diet. Soy shows up 42 different ways or so in different ingredients. It could be as simple as lecithin, could be citric acid. They could be uh, either derived from soy or be made from soy. So you need to be on it. You need, this is your life. You have an opportunity to get back by making this diet work. Now, Robin, yes. how much does, do I charge for this diet? A million dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> uh, no, it's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. Isn't that amazing? I'm giving you this diet for free. Now, there's got to be a kick, though. You probably have to buy things from me. You have to probably order uh, special foods that I send to you every month. Is that true? No. No. Not no. Sure. Where do you get your food that you get on the, for this diet? Where do you normally get your food? You can get it just about anywhere. Some things you might have to order online because they don't sell them in regular supermarkets. But wherever you order things, it's your choice. So you mean I can go to any grocery store and I can find essentially all the foods that I need to be on this diet? Just about, yeah. The diet is free and the, there's no special, expensive, extraordinary, weird foods I need to take? Oh, I don't know. This sounds too good to be true. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, but once you start the diet, now, uh, you've stated many times it took you approximately two months to make the diet work for you. So, now, for me, I'm lucky. It worked within hours. <laughs> That's how quick it was. <laughs> I mean, uh, well... That is your plus, because if I had the difficulties many of you have gone through to make the diet work, I probably would have given up and probably would have committed suicide and not be here today and, and have written a book or, or, or be any part of this thing. But it, it worked that quick for me, but it doesn't work that quick for everybody. So there's a whole list of reasons. I sent out an email this morning and why the diet might not kick in. So would you do me a favor and go through the list of reasons and, and note some of the ones that uh, uh, were difficult, the mistakes that you made and some of the mistakes that people that you've worked with that you've coached made? Sure, I would be glad to. So, and I just want to encourage everyone, if you, I don't know, if you got this email, if, save it because it's really good. Um, so first off, you know, you can't have, the only oil you can really have on this diet is rice bran oil, which um, I ended up buying on Amazon, but there's so many foods that contain oils. I mean, you've got to get good at reading ingredients. The ingredient is key. So you might grab a can of tuna fish uh, thinking you were getting tuna in water, but it's in oil. You might get uh, order a salad at a restaurant and it's covered in olive oil. You might get a marinated steak that's soaked in olive oil. Um, and that those could take a long time to recover from. Like a week, maybe. Oh, at least. I mean, I, I went somewhere. I had finally gotten the diet to kick in, and I went to a friend's house for dinner, and she had a marinated steak that she didn't tell me. And I took one bite, and I had giant lesion split up. A bloody lesion split open on my tongue. Wow. I know. So these things are real. You've got you to gotta figure out. Also, study the do not eat list. Soy. Soy is a big no, no, no. It's in additives. It's, it's like this hidden ingredient in so many things. I have found personally that the when I, I've gotten better at reading ingredient lists and I go for foods that have like maybe four ingredients. And usually that's safe for me. So, you know, 
But you got to read the ingredients on everything. Diamonds and Morton table salt, some of them have sugar in them. And sugar has lots of different names. There's maltrose and dextrose and anything that ends in a os, right? <laughs> <laughs> Out with the os. <laughs> <laughs> so avoid those oses. And, um, and then there's a, yeah, I don't even know what smart, smart water. So any kind of like, you know, smart water, all of those allegedly healthy things to drink that are not really water and have tons of chemicals and quote natural flavors in them do not expensive garbage expensive garbage really is what they are i mean you're you know, two bucks for a bottle of water like that or 250 get get our uh uh coral calcium it's a lot less expensive a lot more and, and have real healthy water yeah, and if you really, like, I love seltzer. I get plain seltzer, and it has nothing really in it. Um, but there are things that you can buy machines that will make seltzer, make bubble water for you to drink out of regular water, which is really fun. Um, and, you know, you can add lemon juice and stevia to that. And it's like having soda if you're a soda freak. What about stevia? Ah, stevia, the big mistake, stevia. So there's stevia and then there's stevia. And just because it says, this is true for anything, if it says organic, if it says all natural, don't believe it. Do not believe it. Read the ingredients. Stevia, 90% of stevias that you buy in a supermarket, even in a health food store, are going to have dextrose, mal malatrose, I, uh, sucrose, um, monk, the monk fruit, uh, whatever extract, which is a sugar. I mean, there are so many things in in the only ingredient you really want for stage one is organic green leaf stevia. Period. Nothing else. And, and we do, and we have it in our store. You do, you do. You have like three different levels of stevia in the store. So, but again, read the labels because you can't do stage two stevia in stage one. Uh, Richard has great stevias in his store. And um, and then, where was I? Supplements. So, they are the worst culprit. People think they've nailed the diet, they're doing so good, but it never works. But then look at the vitamins you're taking. I mean, yeah, look at the vitamins you're taking. That you, uh, take a get a big box, preferably a plastic box <laughs> with a tight cover. Put all your vitamins in it, and then just wait a year or whatever until you're well. The the vitamins that Richard offers in his store are so good and cover the full spectrum of, of basically what you need from the coral calcium to the um, the the garcilla. Multiple vitamins. Multiple vi I love the multiple vitamin. Yeah. I mean, and they're all, uh, many of these are for stage two, but many of them are for stage one, and they're really good vitamins. Just get rid of the rest of the stuff. You don't need it while you're getting well. <clears throat> And um, and plus, this is such a healthy diet. You know, if you do it right, you're just going to get healthier and healthier. So then there's coffee beans soaked in oil. And uh, who soaks their coffee beans in oil? Starbucks. Oh. God bless their hearts. Do you know if Dunkin' Donuts does it too, or no? I don't know. I don't think so. I've had. I, I don't think so. I never had a problem with Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but I. I tend to make my own coffees anyway. So you want to, especially in stage one, you want to avoid flavored coffees with natural ingredients. You want to avoid coffees that are roasted and so soaked in oil. Um, I no blends. No yeah. blends. No blends. No decaf. No decaf. You know, just go for like, chock full of nuts, coffee, and brew it yourself. It's delicious. So, um, but yeah, and and then the same thing, you know, you can in, in uh, towards the end of stage one, stage two, like you can add a little bit of half and half 
to your coffee, um, don't get the fake half and half. <laughs> no, none of the flavored crap. Yeah, do not. No, no, no. And, um, yeah, you have to realize that just a bite of the wrong chewing gum or a Tic Tac mint can set you off and and can take days to recover from. This sounds so strict. This sounds so strict, Robin. It is. <laughs> it is. Like, we're not going to lie. <laughs> but, but it works. It works. It totally works. So and, and it's not strict forever, okay? You're strict for a while, and then you start adding foods back in slowly with the help of your coach, and, and you get your life back. And you can attack your environment because you're not going crazy with itching. So it makes a big, big difference. It makes a huge difference. And, you know, I just read today, Stavita, who makes a really wonderful Stevia product, just came out with a Stevita uh, sugar and chemical-free gum. It, hmm. And uh, I just ordered one to try it, so I'll let you know how it is. But it still may have gargum in it, which is the uh, ingredient, ingredient that's a real problem. Oh, okay. I don't think it does, though. I don't know. I, I yeah, it, yeah. It don't need the ingredients, so I took a chance because it was really. The only, the only one I've found so far is some, some gum from Russia. I think it was, uh, what is it, cedar? <laughs> Your yeah, cedar I gum? Cinnamon <laughs> gum um, that might be from Russia, from Amazon. Yeah, that's right. Cinnamon, not cedar, my mistake. Yeah, cinnamon that, gum. Really Not very tasty. Good. Yes, that's really good. If you like to, I like to chew gum so that I'm not grinding my teeth in stress. <laughs> but um, yeah. So also butter. Now some butters have um, a, some butters are a blend, and they're a blend of oil and butter, and they're never going to work on the diet. You just want pure butter, and and uh, you know, and but there are. Like, if you want to splurge, you can get Kelly Gold Butter, which is from Ireland, and it's amazing. But as long as, a, I mean, you can get Walmart, but Walmart Butter. Just read it. It should just say, what, butter is cream and salt. And that's right. 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 And sometimes they say flavorings and milk, which may work for you, but if for some reason you may have to step up to a better quality ghee. Right, right. Yes, absolutely right. And then there are the foods that if you have this, then you can't eat that, right? And I just, um, you know, sometimes that can be a rabbit hole of trying to figure out what you have. So I tend to just assume I can't have these things. <clears throat> Although, I, I mean, I know I have springtails in my home and I'm careful, but but, um, yeah, if you, you you don't want to eat asparagus, you don't want to eat Brussels sprouts, you don't want to eat peas because they're so high in sugar, uh, and you don't want to eat carrots. Those are the big no's in terms of vegetables. <clears throat> and, no, and mushrooms, okay? So those are easy to make mistakes with. And I used to love sautéing mushrooms and onions and making fried rice, but I just do it without... I can't find the black mushrooms that are listed on the diet. I don't even know what those are. Chinese... Uh, Chinese uh, dried, dried black mushrooms? Yeah, you get them in Chinese uh, uh, groceries. Oh, that's why There is not one Chinese grocery here in the Berkshires. <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm sure I could find them online if I really, you know, wanted them. But... but uh, you can't get regular you can't eat regular mushrooms so and then there's the cheeses you know like towards late stage 1 you could have farmers cheese um and it, but farmers cheese you have to kind of look for every grocery store has it it's just that it's not where normal packaged cheeses may be you could ask at the deli counter where the farmers cheese is and it's really good but i still wouldn't go overboard with it because it's cheese. It's fermented. So, you know, use a, I used to, in stage one, I would love to make giant salads and sprinkle them with farmer's cheese. 
so good, so good. But you want to use it sparingly. And then, you know, soda. You cannot, uh, I mean, even sugar-free soda, the stuff that makes things sugar-free can kill you. It can give you Alzheimer's. It's like, don't do it. It's not worth it. You need your brain. God. But Plus, it's, plus it's going to feed the organisms, too. Right. That's Truvia, right. all those things are going to feed the organisms. Ter- they're terrible. But there is, um, I did find, uh, there's a thing called, uh, what is it called? Zevia. Z-E-V-I-A. And it's, it does have natural ingredients, but I have found three flavors of Zevia that are perfect for stage one. It's a ginger ale, a cola, and a, um, uh, what was the other one? Root beer. And, and they, um, they don't even use any artificial coloring, so they're all clear. There's, I called them about what their natural flavors are, and they said, well, that's a proprietary blah, blah, blah. And they wouldn't tell me. So I tested three of them, and I have found no problem with them. But if you really need to have soda, I, that's, I would try a Zevia. But, I, again, you, if you're going to test foods, you do it one time, and you wait a week, and you keep a food diary. So you don't, like, drink guzzle, like, six cans of Zevia in a day and say, hmm, I don't know if this is working. <laughs> That's not the way to do it. You do not, you cannot get away with one little piece of birthday cake. I'm so sorry. It, unless, you know, you made it yourself and you made it out of spelt flour and um, and stevia and, and real butter. Then maybe you could, but not if you buy a cake there's so much stuff in it that you can't eat. Again, bacon or ham, same thing. The only bacon we can eat is sugar-free, and and there are a couple of brands of that you can find in almost any supermarket. I actually found a Dietz and Watson ham that that it that it works on stage one. It's called Dietz and Watson Originals, and it's so good. You can make sandwiches with it. Um, you can make your own mayonnaise, just eggs and rice bran oil, and um, make your own bread. You know, just think you're a pioneer. You're pioneering healthy ways to live without all this stuff in your food. And um, tea, even teas. You know, I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but it blows my mind what they keep putting in things. It's crazy. All the additives, we just want pure, and Richard has wonderful teas in his store. But like this year, I grew peppermint in my little garden, and I dried it out, and it is the best peppermint tea I've ever tasted. It's so strong, so flavorful. Peppermint grows wild. Even if you have a black thumb, anyone can grow. You can't stop peppermint from growing, which is why I grow it. But cystus tea, cystus tea, which I discovered when uh, I was really sick at one point um, with that big disease that begins, well, never mind. But but um, in the store, there's a wonderful cystus tea, and it's anti-inflammatory, anti-histamine, uh, anti-viral, anti, it's anti-everything bad. It's just, an, and it builds up your immune system. Tea is wonderful. Um, yeah, no, no alcohol in stage one, uh, no samples in the grocery store. You have no clue what's in those. And again, cheese is a big no-no. Farmer's cheese in small amounts towards the end of stage one. Um, no vegetable oil for cooking except rice bran oil. And toothpaste. Oh, well. Don't get Richard going on toothpaste, but <laughs> <laughs> I got a war on that. Yeah, I know, I know. But he has wonderful toothpaste in his store. You can even make your own out of just baking soda, and you know, make a paste. Um, but but the glycerin and and all these other ingredients in toothpaste are just not on the diet. Sodium and, laurel sulfate. Your your high sodium laurel sulfate shows up in commercial toothpaste. 
by press. That's terrible. That's horrifying. Isn't that poison? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know. Well, you're not supposed to swallow it, okay? And there's a warning on the toothpaste that uh, children are not supposed to swallow it, you know? <laughs> Good luck with that, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and there's some medications. That, there's a long list in the book of uh, meds that you can find alternates to that will stop the diet from working. You have to consult with your physician to replace those. And, um, you know, yeah, if you're addicted to sugar or salty, crunchy things, like you can even make, you know, in stage two, you can get a, a what is it, a vi not a violin, a mandolin slicer, and you can make your own potato chips, You can and you can air fry them. It's so good, so good, hey, good potatoes. Let me know about that. How I'll publish I it. What? Uh, oh, tell yeah, me, uh, I, write me about that. I'll publish it. Okay, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember because I bought a mandolin slicer and I make my own potato chips and it's so good. It's so good. And you can either you can you can um, bake them in the oven with a little bit of oil or you can air fry them, and uh, and they're totally stage well stage two the beginning of stage two red potatoes, but delicious. Mm. So. Um, so I think I've covered everything on your Yeah, list. you did. A, a fantastic job. And, uh, you. It, you know, the, the real kicker is, of course, the toothpaste that I just discovered a few days ago. Oh. Uh, I never even thought to look at it. And I've never used, I haven't used commercial toothpaste in about four or five years. And for a long, before we started our, uh, uh, brought out our uh, sweet water toothpaste, uh, baking soda toothpaste. I was just using straight baking soda. You know, it, it works fine. But the the sweet water toothpaste. I mean, it's incredible toothpaste. You brush your teeth with it. You get accustomed to the taste. You get accustomed to any taste. People get accustomed to our mouth washed. It's strong. But uh, after you brush your teeth with this toothpaste, if you you you'll be thirsty, and you'll be amazed how sweet the water tastes and how you hydrate yourself just from just brushing your teeth. You Hydrate yourself amazingly. You'll drink a cup and a half of water just to satisfy the thirst. Yeah. So now sometimes it's important to kind of jumpstart the diet. You're basically doing everything you possibly can. You've looked at all the ingredients. Now, why do I have an online store? You know, why is it there? Is it for me to become a rich millionaire? Do you think I get rich from this store, Robin? I seriously doubt that. <laughs> no. Well, you know, I had a fellow many years ago. Uh, I mean, he, he's he been a guest on our program a few years ago. His name was John. And he had said, I hope you become a millionaire because what you have is so incredible. I mean, there's no place, no place else you're going to get this solution that you have, Richard. And if you become a millionaire, it's because you're helping thousands and thousands of people. Well, that's not my goal. My goal is to have everything in the store that in terms of uh, supplements that are compatible with the diet. So the, I put out a challenge. I said on several occasions that I would give $100 to anyone who could come up with a multiple vitamin available in this country that was compatible with the store. That is compatible with the king, uh, the diet, stage one. Not one person found that vitamin. Not one. To my knowledge, the vitamin, and it's not only a vitamin, it's now a mineral, a multiple vitamin, multiple mineral, so you don't have to take the separate vitamin and the mineral. It's all in one. To my knowledge, it's the only one in this country that is that is compatible, totally compatible with the diet. So if you need, I mean, I can't imagine anybody living without taking a multiple vitamin and mineral because we just don't get enough vitamins in our food that we eat. They're depleted. The farming industry doesn't put the minerals back in. It's just not there. So uh, that alone, 
And then, of course, boosting glutathione is, is supremely important. And we have the methods and products to boost glutathione and the antibiotics. I mean, I've railed, I've railed time and time against prescription antibiotics that are heavily used in this. Even the CDC says don't use prescription antibiotics long term. They can destroy your gut. They destroy your epithelial cells. And we have a natural antibiotic, which is incredible. I mean, one capsule told me that. Well, anyway, jump-starting the diet. Uh, sometimes it may seem that, well, you're doing everything you possibly can. It's not just happening. And I was in this state probably back in around 2007 when I had gotten reinfected and was trying to get the diet to work again. And on my desk, there was a bottle of Max 1, and, you know, for no apparent reason whatsoever, I just reached over, took uh, an extra Max 1, and boom. You know, it's that fast that the diet kicks in. It is that fast. One minute, you're going kind of itchy, and, and the next minute, it's gone. It's that fast. Well, so that could help, boosting the glutathione. Right now, we have trouble getting Max 1. Uh, <clears throat> But we have a patch, and the patch, uh, according to the data, the, the data, the patch delivers more glutathione to your system than even Max One did does. Uh, so now we found through research papers that uh, parasites love. Well, there's a thing called. Uh, like medications like ORAP, we, we required on a long time uh, because they reduce the uptake of dopamine in the brain. So for years, we, I was suggesting people go to their doctors and get medications like ORAP, uh, Primazod, that's Primazod, uh, Zyprexa, Seroquel, uh, Abilify, these are all medications that are also known as dopamine antagonists. Uh, more recently, uh, we have an herbal formula in the store, and we've gotten a lot. I mean, the herbal parasite stop formula, it's a combination of herbs, all of which are dopamine antagonists that can uh, reduce activity and help make the diet kick in, make you less susceptible. Keeping a diary. If you're struggling and you're just not getting there, uh, keep that diary. This diet was discovered from a diary that's over two years in length because I wrote down everything I ate and how I felt 20 minutes afterwards. And usually if you eat something and you're on stage one, and you'll know within 20 minutes or so, whether or not that food is acceptable at this time, or whether it's okay. So whether you eat or drink or take a supplement, check and see how you feel 20 minutes afterwards. If you feel an upsurge of activity, well, then that food you want to take off, you want to avoid that food and maybe reintroduce it in stage two. So what kind of things do people discover when they keep a diary? Well, they might discover that they can have rice, but only in the morning and not at night. You understand how intricate that is and how important that diary becomes? Very. So I have provided to you the resource to get your life back. It costs you nothing. The diet costs nothing. The foods are available in your, there are no special foods, in fact, you won't be buying expensive Coca-Cola. You won't be buying a small pack of chips for four, four bucks. You won't be buying a cheese doodles and all this other, and you won't be buying expensive Entenmann's. You'll be saving all that money to put in the good quality vegetables, protein uh, that are going to feed your body and contribute to your health instead of detracting from your health. Okay, so uh, you have anything to add? I think we've Ron? covered a lot. I, I really do. 
There are differences between Morgellons and Columbula when it comes to stage one of the diet. So that's where chapter four is. Read through chapter four. Like for instance, in stage one of the diet, if you have Morgellons, you can have probiotics. Probiotics are fine, but 90% of us seem to have both Morgellons and Columbula, so I generally say stay away from probiotics. Instead, focus on prebiotics. And prebiotics are foods, and those foods might be onions, uh, leeks, uh, garlic, uh, cocoa, uh, to, to uh, build and create your own probiotics from the foods that you eat. Uh, people with Morgellons can have things like blueberries, and, and uh, uh, you can probably have asparagus, but if you have columbula, you can't have certain foods. So study that. In fact, the foods that you can have can help you determine whether you're dealing with Morgellons or columbula or the combination of both, because if you're dealing with both, the diet is most restricted of all, the most restrictive. Uh, Sharon, do you have anything to add? Sharon must be muted. Uh, well, that concludes this portion of the program. Welcome, everyone. It is Sunday, March 10th, 2024. We're well into um, having moved the clocks ahead. ahead. Yes, yeah, spring ahead. I can't say <laughs> Oh, God. And today in our Margellans call, we've done a deep dive into how to make the diet work. It's been really informative, and now we are about to open up our Q&A section of the call. Take it away. Chris, who do we have? This is Richard Kuhn's author of How to Get Your Life Back from Morgellons, Chronic Lyme, and Other Skin Parasites. Here to answer your questions, if I possibly can. If I can, I'll turn it over to Robin. She has more answers than I do, generally. <laughs> or Sharon. Okay, Chris. Nick. Hi, Nick. How you doing, Rich? Um, Good. Yeah, when you said when you talk about uh, before I was in this program, um, just recently, uh, about a couple months ago, when I came, when I relocated to New Mexico, I have a friend I work with here. That's how I came out. But anyway, I opened up to him what was going on, and at the time he didn't understand it. Um, he got so frustrated, he said, I'm going to beat it out of you. I told him over the phone, I said, I wish you could, bro. I wish you could beat me up and it would be all over with it. That's not the <laughs> So then, you know, he's uh, he's in a program in recovery, and then he said he, he kind of understood and, you know, supported me. But basically, going through this, I... Um, don't talk to my family because my family thinks I'm crazy. Uh, for some reason, this could break up families. I, I don't know why. I guess, you know, because they don't understand it. Um, but anyway, good things, positive things have happened for me. Um, uh, I've lost 100 pounds on this diet. I think I sent Richard pictures. Um, even my cousin that's an attorney, he's lost a lot of weight. He was on weight loss drugs, but doing a diet, just not even having uh, the problem. He's lost weight. I mean, before, my whole life has been junk food, basically. I used to eat, wake up in the morning and eat ice cream and cookies in the morning. I mean, that's, that's it. And soda, that's, 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 you're leaving yourself vulnerable. That's, that's if you you're on it on that kind of diet. I mean, this diet has saved my life health wise and uh hardly no mitigation at all at this point. But, you know, I I would have been to be honest with everybody, if I kept eating what you know, what I wanted to, just junk food and stuff like that, I'd probably be dead alone right now. I probably wouldn't be here, you know. I mean, just with the you know, it would have gotten a lot worse with the uh itching and biting and stuff like that and insomnia. I mean, you know, it, this program it was hell. This program it was to saved it my was, life. It was totally hell, wasn't it? I mean, there are so many people that tell me like you do that they're healthier now for having uh, been on the diet and, and gotten rid of these organisms. Not, not just because they 
are eating better, they get rid of the organisms, and are healthier than they were before they contracted the organisms. Yeah, absolutely. Thank yeah, you so much. much. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's next, Chris? Martha, 3368. Hello. Is it Martha? Hello? 3368? Hello? Oh, who's next? She'll come back later. Connie, 0291. Hi, Connie. Hello, Connie. Connie, your 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 line is open. Hello, Connie. You can speak. Your line is open. Hello, Mary. Mary. Mary? We've never had this trouble before. Hello, Mary. Who's next? Hello. Mary. Huh. Mary. <coughs> Hello? Caroline Fredette. Hello? Hey. Hi. <laughs> Am I on? You're on. What, what's your name? <laughs> Caroline. Oh, Caroline. Have you reclo- reclo- yeah. you relocated to Florida? I did. And, um, I, I can tell you one thing before I do a question. Um, the diet is everything because I had to grab a couple of things here and there when you're in the middle of moving to another state. Uh, I did the best I could to keep it in the motel rooms and whatever I could, but it was difficult. And uh, And when I was off of it, I suffered, and as soon as I got right back to it, and I stuck with the... Um, the uh, what is the one that you do sell at the shop? The Morgellons, um, the herbal stop, the herbal stop, herbal, yes, parasite stop, right? Um, I would, I would take that and um, the uh, glutathione and just get right back to it, and it would just go away, you know, and it just proves that. The diet is everything. I do have a question because I thought this was okay um, if you're in stage two, and and, and it might not be, but um, I think Robin and I both thought that the clove gum was okay, but I was looking at the label as we were listening a while ago um, to ingredients, and it starts with even though it's just two grams for one piece, sugar, gum bag, huh. glucose, syrup. No, no good. No good. No, no good. No good. No good. No good. No good. And guess what? Soy lecithin, and it says contains soy and DHT. I'm like, oh, my God. It's got I'm 10 things that. in there, and it's no good. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so I guess. The clove gum is out the door for me now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keep it for stage three. Would, okay. Would that be stage three? Yeah. Once in a while? Or? Yeah, once okay. in a while when you get to stage three. <laughs> okay, what about, uh, is there a gum that, that Robin was saying a while ago at all? Because I do love gum too, but uh, um, I can't remember. Saying- Carolyn was that a Stavita has come out with a chewing gum, but I don't, I couldn't, there was no way to read the ingredients and I ordered one. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know once I get it. And oh, that'd be great. That. Okay. When you get it, let us know. And the other thing is of the nuts, Richard, and um, when I am a little bit more stable, you know, what would hurt the most on me is, it would affect my lips, you know, right. lesions around the ears and all, and my ankle that mm. um, got injured. They, If I don't eat right, my ankle hurts really bad, and that's where I got infected before. So. But on nuts, can we make our own walnut butter? Is that the best thing to do on stage two? Or can yeah. we do... Yes, absolutely. Uh, 
Yeah, you make your own water. Sure. A little bit of water and salt. Really, you know, and just, yeah. just keep the new uh, grinder. Right. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Well, then, just stay away from no almonds, peanuts, or uh, I oh. think one time you said maybe macadamians or. No nuts. almonds, no peanuts. I, I, uh, uh, Brazil nuts, I, I believe, will be good. I believe that macadamias are good. Uh, pistachios okay. might be good. I didn't know that. No, there are mold foods, I think. But, pistachios uh, grow in the ground like peanuts. They're, um, they have a lot of mold. Well, right. that, yeah, I'm not sure, but I, I'm just speculating. But I guess I'm Okay. So around. really, basically, just buy me a little bullet that blends nuts and make my own walnut butter with a little water and uh, sure. sea salt. Sure. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Because um, I'm just okay. getting back to everything from unpacking and okay. the diet. If you don't stick to the diet, it won't work. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank congratulations you. on your I move. Love downsizing, and I made it alive with okay. unpacking and throwing for, away and everything. For like those uh, for those of you who may not know who Carol Ann is, she's our coach, uh, one of our coaches. So, okay, yes. who, who's next? Who's next? We are done, Richard. That's it. Okay. Well, if there's anyone uh, who would like to ask a question or share their experience, you could do star six and open your line up yourself. Other oh, okay. one. I've done that, I think. Sharon, can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, great. Okay, so my question is for Robin. But first, I also wanted to mention this. This is one of the things that I've had to make sure that um, – the people that I'm coaching understand about the added sugars. And Robin is the one that helped me to understand it. But one of the things, if it has the added sugar, that's what you look at. If I'm correct, you don't want anything that has added sugars. But just about everything has some natural sugars in it. So if it has any added sugars, those are definitely things you want to avoid. I know I was having a problem with my broccoli, and I'm like, well, it says no added sugars. But what is this one gram of sugar? I can't have broccoli. I don't understand. Am I going to be able to eat anything? So I did want to make sure that everybody on the call knew that because it was um, one of the things I saw. If you're buying, if you're buying, you know, raw vegetables, I don't think broccoli has any sugar. But if you're buying frozen vegetables, frozen. coated in this sugar water solution, and that could be where the one gram of sugar is coming from. Well. There, there are two parts to the nutritional label. One part is a nutritional fact. Now, a nutritional fact is that if the food is broken down, there would be sugar in it and how many grams of sugar there would be. Just about every food has sugar, natural sugar in it. That includes the natural sugars. The ingredients is the one that you want to look at. If the sugar is listed in the ingredients, that means it is added to the food. Right. But for instance, carrots has a lot of sugar in it, natural sugar. So we don't eat carrots. Right. Corn. We don't eat corn because it's high in sugar or whatever. For some reason, they love corn and carrots and asparagus and uh, Brussels sprouts. We don't know why, but they do. Right. Okay. Anyone else? Thank you, Sharon. Star six. One more. Yes. <laughs> one question. Now, this one is for Robin. Robin, you had mentioned some type of ham, and I was sitting here trying to put my list together for um, Amazon, but I think I did not spell it correctly. Can you tell me the name of that ham again? I believe it's D-I-E-T-Z and Watson, W-A-T-S-O-N. Now, this is... Um, they sell the ham as a packaged lunch meat, uh, we, but it has to say Dietz and Watson Originals. That's Original. the only one that has no sugar. All the other Dietz and Watson lunch meats have sugar in it. It, it has this kind of curved oh. thing that says Originals. And then they also Rich. have, uh, and it's hard to find, I only found it once, is, is a literal, literal sliced ham steak. 
that had no sugars in it. Black but you've got to read labels and you got to dig. Now, the other thing when you're looking at uh, foods like this, the uh, deli type, type of meats, is if they have nitrates in them. Right, uh, nit without nitrates or nitrites. That's why it's original, it's all natural. That's great. Because nitrates and nitrites uh, play a large role in the development of Alzheimer's, according to some research studies. Right, right, right. Any other questions or comments? Star six. Okay, I guess that concludes this portion of the program. <clears throat> uh, welcome back, everybody. This is Richard Kuhn, author of How to Get Your Life Back from uh, Morgellons, Chronic Lyme, and Other Skin Parasites, welcoming you to our portion of the program about managing stress. Managing stress can be very important, no matter who you are, no matter what you're dealing with. If you are alive on this planet today with all the things that are going on and dealing with finances and dealing with uh, politics and dealing with uh, life and dealing with health and dealing with Margellans, you need it more than ever before, that's for sure. Because uh, when, when you're in the pits of dealing with more gallons, it, it's like you can't focus. You can't. All you can think of is, is the misery and, and the pain and the uh, anguish that you're going through and uh, not getting any help and no, nowhere to turn and nothing to do. And uh, it, it's terrible. So the more you know about managing stress, and this, is, this technique that Robin's going to take you through is called tapping. And it's called tapping because all you're going to do is take your forefinger and your middle finger, right? You take two fingers, the forefinger and the middle finger, and you tap them against the part of the body that she tells you. So she's going to tell you to tap it against your forehead. So you're going to just tap, tap slight, slightly against your forehead and repeat an affirmation. Now, you might be in the pits of despair. You might be the like in this situation a lady was just talking with us uh, off the recording a few minutes ago, in total anxiety and anguish and, 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 I mean, total despair. Do it. I mean, what are you going to do? What's your choice? Sit there and, and, and just do more despair? You know, look to do something that can make a difference. It's what we're talking about is a shift in vibration, a shift in your vibration. If your vibration is in despair, what's the hope, Robin? Um, you can't have hope when you're living in deep despair. Well, if you're living in the middle of anguish with biting and, and all this, What's your hope? Well, I mean, that's why we do stress management. <laughs> that brings hope. The idea of doing the stress management is to kind of break the cycle. Right. You're in a cycle. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, and all you got to do is crash into something and destroy yourself and everything that you crash into. So the idea is to stop that snowball, step out, change the vibration, now, I don't expect you're going to have a difference in your feeling. I mean, I don't expect that you're going to have less itching or less misery in terms of physical discomfort. We're looking at a mental shift. So you're going to do the patch it. You're going to do the tapping, for instance, or some technique that we share with you, whether it be deep breathing or whether it be to find a, a video on YouTube with healing vibrations and listen to it, is to... Do a mental shift. That mental shift, you're going to compound by reading the book if you haven't read the book, by starting the diet if you haven't started the diet, by listening to the first part of this video if you have, you know, when it's published, and making that diet work. You're going to focus on that. Otherwise, you're just going to stay stuck where you are and write to me again in two years after you receive two years' worth of updates and, and had opportunities to be here and haven't, so it's a step out of the misery. 
mentally. And then the physical being comes as you start the diet and get your life back into gear. That's what this is about. So take us through the tapping. Okay. All right. So as we do this, we are going to uh, take affirmations. But the first thing I want you to do is think of something that's really, really bothering you, stressing you out, and give it a number between 1 and 10, where 1 is hardly stressed and 10 is over-the-top stressed. Okay, you can do this over and over. Each time you do this, it should bring that number down if it's a high number. So think of one thing that you just can't wrap your head around that's driving you over the top with stress. Okay? Now, we'll come back to that. The first thing we're going to do is gently karate chop our arm a few times. And while you're doing it, I want you to take some deep breaths. Through the nose and ah, through the mouth. Okay, now two fingers, top of our head, gently tap and say, this situation is awful, but I'm going to love myself in the midst of it. Now tap above your eyebrows with both hands. The situation really stinks. I don't know how I'm going to get through it, but I'm going to love myself in the midst of it. On the sides of our eyes, no matter what happens, I'm going to be kind to myself and love myself, be patient with myself in the midst of it. Under our eyes, everything changes and I'm not going to go crazy with stress. I'm going to love myself in the middle of hard situations. Under our nose. And this is an incredibly hard situation, but I'm going to step back, breathe, and feel love. Under my chin, take a breath. I'm going to love myself no matter what happens. I'm going to be okay. And then rub gently under your neck. Take a deep breath and release it. Now look at that first number of the thing you're stressed about. Did it go down? Mine went from a 10 to a 5. So, and take a sip of water, lemon water, cystus tea, and if you need to redo that again, you can do it over and over with the same thing. Lower the number a little each time. And that's it. Great. Tap. Tap your way through to the next week till we see you again. <laughs> so this is Richard signing off with Robin and Cher and then all our coaches signing off, wishing you a great weekend. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. You are my lovely people. Love you all. Keep coming back. See you next week. Have a good if, week. Okay, Thank that concludes you. this portion of the program.